what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and we're back today at locals i actually haven't had the chance to play at locals in time because you guys don't know fun fact i am getting married so i've been spending a lot of my time doing wedding things every weekend all the time however i do have some time today and i'm actually here for locals early for the first time in forever so no one's really here yet so i have no idea what the turnout's gonna be i have no idea what our matchups are gonna be like but i did get this uh, phantom nightmare sneak peek play mat that's exciting i'll probably be using it today and i'm just realizing now i think i forgot my camera to do the duels which i typically do in these vlogs and for the dual channel i'll probably be using this camera but i don't know how long this camera's gonna last we'll see how it goes but i'm excited because we're playing kashtira at today's locals which is a deck that i know i've been on for some time and i think it's one of the best decks in the format but i will say we're playing a tech and we're playing some spice we're playing the forbidden kashtira build where we're actually playing vanity fiend in the main deck big shout out to chair because essentially what this deck wants to do is summon a kashtira monster and kind of end on a vanity fiend on top of your regular kashtira board and then essentially Essentially, you're locking your opponent out completely which is absolutely insane and it's something that chair kind of innovated he's been on the vlog and he's been on the channel a ton of times and i wanted to give him his credit because this is completely his idea and i'm taking his idea now i'm excited i want to show you guys what the deck looks, looks like and then uh, we'll kind of go from there all right so i want to show you guys real quick what we're playing it's just the standard kashira stuff except we are playing vanity fiend in the main deck which is an absolutely insane card i think this card is going to put him to work today it's just again typical standard kashira stuff that you would see on a the, you know they day day kashtira day the vanity fiend in the main deck hopefully is going to prove very useful i imagine that uh, if i'm going first if i'm winning die rolls this card is going to be nuts and even if i'm uh, siding going games two or games three and i know i'm going second you can just side this out so it makes it really easy as a side out target uh, i really like the main deck it's 40 cards in the main deck and then for the extra deck here real quick it's pretty standard kashtira stuff i don't think i would really change this i'm not playing the heat soul stuff anymore i don't really like the heat soul stuff this can be swapped for a typhon i just don't personally own a typhon so that's just something that you guys can do but but uh, yeah, I really like this extra deck and the side deck I'm in love with. I think this is like one of the most perfect side decks right now for this deck. So the Panker Tops, we have the Lava Golems, One Thrust. I like playing the One Thrust. It was the 15th card, honestly. But the reason why this card is really good is because if you're siding to go second, you can side it for Talents, which you're playing in the main deck, Imperm, Prosperity, whatever. All those cards you can search with Thrust. And then you can also, of course, search these bad boys going second in tobacco matchups as well, right? So that's really nice. And then for going first, three Summon Judgment, three Summon Limit. These are some of the best cards going first in the format right now. So I'm really excited for today i think today's gonna be a good day and honestly hopefully all i care about is resolving this card and winning a game with this card because the card was banished face down shine green i'll lock another zone yep because another zone was locked i'll pop this one yep okay and then yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So game two here doesn't go as simple as game one. You guys are going to see that he's going to be able to set up some kind of board. Now, it's a board that I wasn't used to seeing in Crystal Beast. It's a board that's going to end on the Bamboozled, which I believe is a monster negate, and then the Hope Harbinger, which is a spell negate, and he got to search the Miracle. Now, I did have Lava Golem, which is nice because I got to be able to break the board a little bit. However, he did also have the Miracle for the Omni negate. Now, you guys are going to see, I'm able to build a little bit of a board. My hand wasn't the greatest to be honest with you however i'm like you know what if i can establish a board take away his resources i'm gonna be able to play the game and win the round right now here's the thing though I couldn't get over this Lava Golem. Because I wasn't able to get over the Lava Golem because I didn't have access to Fenrir, I'm pretty much in a stuck losing position where I'm trying to just salvage whatever life points I got and play the late game. But he puts up SP, he puts up Zeus, and it's just way too much for me to handle. I'm going to keep trying to break the board slowly. I thought if I could bait Zeus, I could keep going. But unfortunately... Once you start playing into time, it gets a little bit rough here. So here I end on the Shangri era to summon the Fenrir onto my side of the board. And I'm going to be trying to bait out the SP Little Knight with the Planet Pop effect here. Now he's going to be able to go. And honestly, we just lose this game to time. And that ends up leading to a draw because I was down in life points. So we just finished our round two. I know I didn't get to vlog after round one, but I want to show you guys what had happened. And uh, before, before I do that... Oh, hey guys. Everyone say it's, happy birthday in the comments. It's the Spanko squad, baby. The Spanko YGO squad. What's our record today? Uh, we have a draw and a win. My goat. So, with that being said, though, we won our round two and then our round one we drew but funny enough our first two rounds were both against crystal beast which is absolutely insane because crystal beast back-to-back -back is like 
something I would never have expected. But the crazy thing is, the uh, second round, so the first round we drew, it was really unlucky. We went into time. I had one game one, and then game two, he was like up a thousand life points. I should have just get, scooped game two and gone to game three. Whatever, my fault. That's my apologies. That's my bad. I should have won that. But round two, though, oh my god, round two was crazy. So I actually had the Vanity Fiend on board for game one. I don't think it mattered that much, but uh, still pretty good, I would say. And then game two, he went first, full comboed, Horus, Crystal Beast. It's absolutely insane. You put all the brick Crystal Beast names in your graveyard for the Horus cards. The Horus cards make giant trainer. You draw a ton of cards. The combo was nuts. You guys are going to see it in the dual channel. If you guys want to go check that out, I have the full duel there. But uh, I'll put some kind of clips in here as well for you guys. Main phase two. Yeah. I'm in Vanity Fiend. Yeah, you're good, man. Go ahead. So game two of our round two, it's so crazy that we're playing Crystal Beast back to back, by the way. But this, I really wanted to show you just because of how cool this build is. It's not just Crystal Beast, it's Horus Crystal Beast. Now, there is going to be a deck profile on the channel soon if it's not up already. But I just wanted to show you guys what this deck can really end on. He's going Sir Yuja, he's drawing a bunch of cards, he's going Zelantis. He's able to set up his Sapphire Pegasus multiple times. And the board here, honestly, is absolutely insane. I think he's ending on like seven or eight negates, something like that. I actually don't know if I can break this board, but I really just wanted to see it. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. People try. It's always a fun thing. I'm going to try. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try. But you guys are going to see that I'm actually able to break the board because Lava Golem and Pancratops go burr. Man, that was absolutely nuts. The nothing I had expected. And I asked him as well to do a deck profile because I think that's one of the coolest decks I've ever seen. So you guys should be seeing a deck profile for that soon, if not already. I don't know if that's gonna go up first, this is gonna go up first. But we're currently X01, we have a win and we have a draw, no losses yet. I honestly don't know how many rounds this locals is. It's kind of busy, I mean, it looks okay. It's kind of dead actually. I thought it would be a lot more busy, but you know, it is what it is. We're here, we're X01. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. Oh, baby, I'm excited. Yo, we're gonna do a full deck profile later, but just for the vlog, I'm not lying. He's legit doing it and it's nuts. Soon after. So we just finished our final round. We're actually only playing three rounds today. So it's a smaller turnout than I thought. I thought it'd be four rounds, but it's only three rounds today. And we won our final matchup. I actually didn't get that feature match because I was doing another feature match. However, we were playing the Kashtira Mirror. And honestly, I, I said I wanted to do it. And I think I actually did it. Game one, I actually won the die roll. I made a board of Unicorn, Fenrir, Vanity Fiend. Bro. It's nuts. Vanity Fiend, it was a mirror match, right? So as soon as I put Vanity Fiend on board, he wasn't able to play. I'm like, yo, you have to have birth plus a name. Didn't have both. So Vanity Fiend was nuts in that sense. And then game two, it was kind of a grind game back and forth. I ended up winning game two. So we finished today 2-0-1. and one. We tied against the Crystal Beast player in our round one. But I think it was still a really good day. Now, with that being said, though, Locals is over. I don't know the standings are not up yet. However, I do want to get that Horus Crystal Beast profile for you guys. So I'm going to film that real quick. And then uh, we'll be back soon. The next day. Guys, I'm literally editing the vlog right now. And I realized that I had not filmed an ending to the vlog. So I'm going to do that now for you guys thank you guys all for watching thank you guys all for joining me on this journey i love doing these locals vlogs let me know what you guys think of these vlogs i know i try to get as much footage for you as possible and if you guys want to see the full duels to actually see how i play how my opponents play what locals is like you guys can check that out on the spanko duels channel but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want me to keep bringing you these vlogs and if you do let me know in the comment section down below with that being said i appreciate every single one of you guys thank you guys all for watching with that spanko signing out peace